Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jitender from the Office Guide Tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how we can do this flyer design using PowerPoint. This flyer can be used in any conference or for any event. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before we move ahead, if you're new to my channel, you can go and hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you'll get latest update at earliest. So let's start. So let us begin. First I'll go to design. Since we are going to make a A4 size fly design, I'll, I'll go and change the slide size to a custom slide size. From here I'll choose an A4 paper size and which I need to be a portrait. I'll click OK. Uh, you can choose anyway because since we don't have any content, it's not a big deal. So we can choose maximize. So for now what I'll do first, I will uh, delete this. I'll just insert my photo here just for my reference so that I can uh, take help in case if I forget the design. So this is my design here. Let me show you what are the main elements here. We have an image here, this one in the background. Then we have uh, two rectangles here of different size and the last, uh, in the last we have a rectangle. Four photos we have and remaining are the text boxes. So let me let me start through this. I'll go to insert, I'll take a picture. I just quickly scroll down to my resource folder, insert this. So uh, if, if I just jump around uh, to the my reference photo, it's almost covering like uh, half of the, the current photo is taking almost half of the page, but just we need to crop this out. So just to make it short, I will do go to picture format. We make sure you select the image, go to picture format. And we'll go to crop and we'll option. I'll quickly draw some rectangles just to make a layout. So one uh, rectangle goes here. Uh, we make sure you have almost like a inch space here. Uh, so we have a rectangle here. I'll drag one more and I'll give a decent length. And uh, this we can adjust later, not a problem. And then I'll copy one more time. So how you can copy? You can just you can just press Control D. I'll uh, drag it in the bottom. So just for your reference, I'll show you its height is one centimeter, and width is at the width of page. So no need to worry for that. I'll select all three, and I'll go to Shape Fill. I'll give it orange color, and uh, in the shape format, I'll give it a no outline. The first block. I'll just right click here, go to format shape and under the fill tab, I'll just give it a transparency 30%. I will again control D, I'll, I'll select this, this small rectangle and press control D. I'll just keep it here and I'll give it a shape fill of a white color and transparency I'll make it zero so that it will be like a white color. I'll zoom in just. And I'll copy it again and I'll keep it here. So this gives us like a design pattern. So our layout is almost done. Now let us go for adding the content into it. So for content, I'll take text box. The first content goes here is some text here. Since it's a background is dark here, we'll be going with the white text. And uh, I will write here. So in caps, I'll be writing annual 3D Printing Conference 2019. I'll give it a font. I'll give it a Roboto Condense font. And I'll increase the size to about 28. And I'll give it a bold font. For now, the top part, I will reduce it to 20. And the bottom text, I'll increase it to 32. That looks good. Now again, I'll enter. Give an enter. And I'll write the uh, a subtext of this, which is, you can see, let's make the future better. So I'll write here. I'll just reduce the size a little bit. And I'll write, let's make the future better. It's going a little out. 
we'll just extend this. So here we go. This is done. This is done. Uh, next, uh, let me go and add a few pictures here. So I'll just copy. Uh, I'll so I'll set this text box. I'll press Control D to make a duplicate of it. I'll keep it down so we cannot we cannot see anything right now because the text is white color. I'll make it black, and I will write here our speakers. To maintain a design theme, the speaker colors I'll select. I'll select the text, and I'll give it the same color which we have taken in this rectangle. So I'll align this with the above. Now what I'll do, I will take this rectangle again and I will take height as 4 and width as 3 and I'll make shape outline as no outline. I'll again press Ctrl D and I'll adjust, I'll reduce the font size. I'll press Ctrl E to quickly make it center line. I'll press enter. I'll remove the bold and make the text black and I'll write the designation say senior manager. So what I'm going to do now I'll just copy these things. So just to manage the space let me zoom in. I will take it little up somewhere here that looks better. I'll make Four copies and I will drag this still somewhere here so that it looks something some something like a line now I'll take up the photos uh, let me insert the photos so I will do quickly just click here go to picture fill go to file and I'll select the face one again picture fill file face two picture file phase 3 picture 4 so let's quickly change the names here mr. a b c and d and you can change your designation accordingly so what I'm seeing now here is uh, we don't have any space to write text here. So what I'm going to do is I will reduce, I'll just crop out this image a little more so that we'll get more design space. I'll select everything and we'll lift it a little bit above so that we'll get more space to work on. I'll move this little down. So our speaker is done. Now the next content that comes is about the conference. So again, uh, this same I'll press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of it. I'll come here and this I'll write here about the conference. So I'll take some sample text I'll paste here and I'll paste it here. Go to condensed font size to be 14. So let me quickly add these things. So I'll take this one here, this is Hall 1A Exhibition Center. Center I'll make big to, so to fill this element and I'll just center it. I will write the dates here. So uh, say 20 to 25 of August, I'll delete this. 2019. So for now what I'll do I'll just center this text or you can increase the size of this not a problem this looks better and I'll uh, this too it's little far so I'll reduce the vertical spacing so I'll take multiple I'll take 0.8 this looks good I think we can increase the size of this a bit yeah this looks better I'll take a little down now I'll use this to give a border here I will reduce the size a bit and I'll quickly take the text from my other file topics of the event and I'll paste here I'll reduce the size a bit I change the font also so this is the topics done 
now i'll take another border and i'll take a button uh this under rectangle type at the second button here and i will make full and i'll change the color to white shape fill to no outline shape outline to no outline and text color to be this orange color font robot to condense bold and i will write register now reduce the font size a bit register now and even and even this rectangle size also i will reduce register now now we'll add the website name here so www. you can put any of your conference name here conference.com i'll give it a white color and this border just to add a taste in this i will write visit so that looks good now if you want to put any other element like i have kept here early bird entry for now i'm quickly going to take it from my sample file and we can just skip so early bird entry everything i'll just select and reduce the font size a bit so early bird entry i'll adjust it a little bit and register before then to like So this is how we can make a flyer in PowerPoint. You can also check out my other video tutorials on PowerPoint and Word to simplify your daily tasks and increase your productivity. Stay tuned. Have a good day.